Welcome back to 31 Days of Your Scrapbooking Q&As. Today's sponsor is Scrappineers.com, the online educational home for all digital scrapbooking enthusiasts. New workshops are opening each month, so head over and check it out at Scrappineers.com. Today's question comes from Alita. She says, here is my burning question. My mom passed recently and I found boxes of very old black and white photos and even those old formal portraits that were hand tinted. Problem is, I don't know some of the people in the photos and have no story to go with them. So should I scrapbook them even if I have no information as far as journaling? If so, how would you suggest? Many on a page just to get them scrapped individually, group by event, but with no story? How would you fill up the 12 by 12 space as I usually have a third of my layouts dedicated to journaling the story. I don't want to discard this history, but I'm stuck as far as honoring them in my scrapbooks. First of all, Melita, I'm so sorry about the loss of your mom. It's never an easy thing, even as we get older and it's more expected, it's never easy. So I just wanted to send you my condolences on that. I know how hard that is. Um, and good for you for holding on to those photos. It's a nice surprise to be able to uh, find that and uh, have that little piece of your history. Now, my suggestion is to actually, first of all, scan them all in. Scan all of those old photos in. If it's not something you want to do yourself, you can enlist your kids, or your husband, or extended family, or there are many services that will scan the photos in for you. So the reason I suggest doing this is a few. First of all, it preserves them just as they are right now. So any further degradation due to age or acid or anything like that will immediately cease. So you have those. Second of all, you can now forward those images onto your extended family and ask them, do you know this person third from the right? I know that's Grandma Joe, Grandma Josephine, but who's that little kid there? I've never seen him before and I, I don't know anything about him. You can now spread that out far and wide and send those photos out and ask for the stories that go with them, at least the who, what, when, where, if not the how and the why. Third, it gives you a lot of flexibility with scrapbooking. You can go for the digital scrapbooking. You can print them out and print um, multiple copies, enlarge uh, and, and make them smaller. You have just so much more flexibility once you get them into a digital format. Also, you can create photo books, which is actually my first suggestion after you get them scanned in. Create a photo book. Fill in all the information that you have at this place and this um, point in time, realizing that you may get additional stories later on. The reason I suggest this, again, is one, you've honored them now. You've done something with those photos to preserve them. Two, you can now take this book and show it to other people and ask them, who's that person there? What were they doing? Were you there? Are you in this picture? What was going on? Then you're collecting stories and you can go back and actually scrapbook those stories. So let's say you take this book to your aunt's um, 90th birthday party and she gives you five great stories. You transcribe those stories or just record her directly on your iPhone. You go home, you pull up those photos in the digital format, print them out and create five scrapbook pages. And maybe you have a specific heritage album where you now now include the stories as you get them. Something else you can do if you are missing just tons and tons of stories but you want to capture something is go to a site like um, Ancestry.com and pull up images of that place in time. Find out what was going on in the world. Maybe you know it was in Toledo, Ohio in 1906 and you can go find photos of what Toledo, Ohio looked like, what was going on in the world, and maybe tie that in with the personal photos that you have. But once you get them into your computer, once you get a photo book made, you can kind of rest in the idea that you have honored them just by doing that much. And then you can ask other people in your family either by emailing those photos out or bringing that hard copy photo book to other people and asking them to help you fill in the missing information. Thank you so much for this, uh, this question. It's a good one. It's one I'm facing myself and hopefully it has helped some other people too. See you soon. <music>